The agenda to possess the nations continues unabated. It is only Christ that transforms nations. And so once we raise Christ like disciples, we will be able to follow Christ's example. The New Testament church has not got any boundary. So don't say that this is church, this is work. No. Wherever you are, you form the temple, you are a priest, and you are a sacrifice. This is the reason for unleashing the church with the mandate of carrying the gospel to the ends of the year. The grace of God also requires something from us that we should deny ungodliness and worthy last and then live soberly, righteously and godly in this present age. Do not conform to the patterns of this world but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Anytime the soul is not put in check and the soul aligns itself with the body to fight against the spirit the person even though will be a christian but will be a carnal christian welcome to pentecost hour a platform for teaching training and unleashing the church to fulfill her mandate as salt and light in the world pentecost hour god's timely word to our dying world Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We want to give God praise for this glorious day. I believe that the relevance of the church is in how much it impacts society. Because the church claims to be the salt and the light of the world. That is what I personally believe. So some two years ago, the Lord laid on our hearts to hold ministers' conference to discuss about the church in the hope that we'll be able to influence and refocus the church on her core mandate. So far, we have held two of such conferences. And we did that in Accra. But this year, we decided to make the conference mobile. Our first stop is here in Kumasi. Then from here, we intend to go to Takrade. Then to Tamale. Tamale. And then around November, we will be in Accra. Now, as time goes on, we will try and travel to the other regions. With the hope that we will be able to help refocus the church on her core business. That we will be able to move from religiosity to real spirituality. Because we cannot afford to have churches dotted all over this nation. Yet, when we talk about corruption, it's always the highest. Highest point of discussion when it comes to election and everything. The corruption has been so much endemic and systemic in this nation. Meanwhile, we claim to be over 71.2 percent Christian. Now, now with me to do this business this day is the president of the dear apostolic church apostle dr amina a apostolic president and casa apostle dr obinfo amina the chairman of the christ apostolic church apostle samuel amponsan christ apostolic church nodano apostle asante we also have it as the General Secretary of Ghana Pentecostal and Charismatic Churches. Now we are here to team up with you, gallant soldiers of the cross, men and women of the gospel here in the Ashanti region, uh, to seek the face of God. 
ya basi ene mo ba be bom aye djuma onyame asomfo ni ahwehwe onyankopon akwan we are not here to teach pastors how to pastor in Ashanti region no ya ma ase ba be kira sofo se de wodi sofo there be when we were growing up as young men we already had Reverend Douglas been found in the rest on the horizon already. But I yin yin se emrante wa ano na yensof peni Douglas num na mwesi muda da. But we are here to join you to worship God and to seek His face and praying that God will help us to refocus the church. I believe that we are doing so many things as church, which is not church at all. Basi ani mo ba be bom ahwehwe nyankopon adwene no waboye na sore no botaiten no ye tumi de ye ni akire sanse no ma bebre wo ha ye ye wa sore no ma en sedan fa sore no kra so the theme for this program is the church and the world tinia ye be di won komo ne no asemtia da so no e ye asafo no na sore no ani wiase the church and the world sore no ani wiase but i will be speaking to the topic the authority of the christian believer in transforming the world. And ya minimum be di won komo no e ye tumi a ogidi ni wo a obetumi dia sachira wi ase. The authority of the Christian believer in transforming the world. Tumi a ogidi ni Kristo ni ni wo a obetumi dia sachira wi ase. Now scripture says that for God so loved the world. Just him ni say so nyankopon do wi ase ni e. That he gave his only begotten son unto this world. So then do ba wo no kro no ema wi ase. That whosoever believes in the son will not perish. But have eternal life. We see from this important scripture that the focus of God's love is the world. To the extent that He sacrifices His only begotten Son for the salvation of the world. Now, if this is so, then the church that represents Christ. Cannot do otherwise. Say na tia dia. Any asore ne jina Christo anemo no. Entu minye bribia anyway enko. The church must reach the world in love. I say say asafono. Edi nyame do eko chile wiasi. And save it as a matter of course. Now we nam so extreme wiasi. The focus of the Great Commission. As in part three, you man on the boat are itinerant and say. It's the world. Not the church. Because Jesus told the church to go. So anytime that we are doing church, and concentrating on church, building huge structures, raising ashes, doing worship, fasting and praying. Now let's remember that we have to be careful not to be serving the church because the focus of the Great Commission is the world. All that we do in church is to equip us to be able to carry on the focus, the world, changing the world. And bringing them to the saving knowledge of Christ. Now, yeah, yeah, we're sorry to move beyond. As I said, to me, she's saying, "Near to me, come, we are saying, 'I quite do want a break, Christo.'" Brothers and sisters, this is the eternal purpose of God. I don't know. Establishing the church. We know when you're coming on the boat, I have a word. Ah, on Nam Susi, I'm sorry. Now, how do I know that? Are you doing Namihu? We Ephesians chapter three. Ephesians chapter three. Yeah, can carry this so far, man. It's me and Sir. Verse 6. Then I will jump to verse 10. And I will add verse 11. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 6. This mystery is that through the gospel, the Gentiles are heirs together with Israel, members together of one body. And share us together in the promise in Christ Jesus. Say, I'm a man who found so, and I'm a son of so. Hey, a young one did for. You need to be doing a chrono era, and then the boss here no more for far for be Christo Jesus mu. Now he is saying that this is mystery. You are trying to say we are in touch. And the mystery that he is talking about is that through the gospel, the Gentiles and the Israelites have become one body. You are trying to say. Now he is using the word mystery not as if it is shrouded in secrecy, 
But it was once so, but now it has been revealed. And then he said that this is this is mystery. And it didn't used to be so. But through the gospel, the Gentiles and the Israelites have become sharers together of God's promise. It is this togetherness that gave birth to what we call the church. Now verse 10. Verse 10. While he is bringing the Israelites and the Gentiles together, calling them through the gospel, scripture says that his intent was that now, through the church, the manifold wisdom of God, should be made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly realms. establishment establishment of the church was for God to use the church to teach principalities and powers the manifold wisdom of God. Now, when we're talking about principalities and powers, we are talking about forces that govern nations. We are not talking about witches and wizards, not witchcraft. We are talking about real forces. But God would teach them wisdom through the establishment of his church. Now this force is govern the world. Now they govern nations. Now, and for the church to be able to teach them the wisdom of God, the church must get to where they are. We must enter the arena. Now verse 11 says this This is according to his eternal purpose That he accomplished in Christ Jesus our Lord So when Jesus was hung on the tree The purpose of God for his hanging on the tree was to save certain kind of people who would teach principalities and powers them the wisdom of God. When Jesus said, therefore go into the world, he was saying that therefore go and teach principalities and powers the great wisdom of God or therefore go and transform their territory. We need to bring it back to me. That is what Christ was trying to tell the disciples. So we are discussing the church and the world. Now, the word church or ecclesia now it's intentionally selected by Jesus to describe a community that lives for the Father and leads the earth into life. Let's pay attention to the screen. We are saying that church or ecclesia is a community that lives for the Father God and leads the earth into life. Now, by bringing joy to the community. Now, let me illustrate what I mean by this. As chapter 8 from verse 4 to 8 please. as chapter 8 from 4 those who have been scattered that is the believers who have been unleashed preach the word wherever they went 
Now the next verse says, he mentions one of them. Philip went down to a city in Samaria and proclaimed the Messiah there. The next verse says that when the crowd heard Philip and saw the signs he performed, they all paid close attention to what he said. With strict, impure spirits came out of many, and many who were paralyzed or limbed were healed. Now, this is not the operation of God. Impure spirits are not from God. People who have been crippled and paralyzed and lame, because the devil did not create us. When he destroys us, he finds pleasure in it. But when Philip went there, these ones were released. And then listening to the next verse, the next verse says that, so there was great joy in the city. Now Philip, by the power of the gospel, brought great joy, relief to the city. So we are saying that the church is a community of people that lives for the Father and leads the earth into life. So by bringing joy to the community. Now, the church embodies a movement of people empowered by the Holy Spirit. And sent to bring life to the nation. While the power of the Holy Spirit was given to us, it was not for us per se. Now the power of the Holy Spirit was given to the church. But it was not just for the church per se. It doesn't mean that we don't benefit from the Holy Spirit. But the purpose of the coming of the spirits was the transformation of the world. It's to help us bring life to the nation. Bring wholeness to humanity. You see, the word church or ecclesia is a borrowed term. Now Jesus borrowed this yes, and of which was frequently used to describe a community that is called out of ordinary life. Gathered together for a purpose of influencing society. So this, the word church is describing a community called out of ordinary life. Carpenters, lawyers, teachers, bakers, people called out of ordinary life. And these are gathered together for the purpose of influencing society and giving authority to bring about change in society. This is from Alan Scott. Wait, Alan Scott, no kind. Now, a community that is called out of ordinary life. He says that they are called together and gathered together for a purpose of influencing society. So, when we say we are a church, we are to bring change on the horizon. So, let's go back to Alan Scott. 
and given authority to bring about change in society. But I will add that and given authority and power to bring change to society. So therefore, understanding and exercising the authority and power given to the church is integral in the essence of the church. You see, until the church learns to exercise this authority and power in the world, she hasn't fully understood her identity or her role in the society. Now, it is not sufficient to gather at church to hear teachings without impacting society. Now pay attention to the slide. It is insufficient to gather at church to hear teachings upon teachings and be praying and be fasting without making any impact society. It is not sufficient to show people how to serve in the church rather than serve as church. Now, we spend so much money Teaching people how to usher people in and all that from, from the car park. Hello, how are you? Um, I hope you are well. Then these ushers will lead you to your place and order, making sure that there is order in the church. It is good. But it is not sufficient. We should rather move on and teach the church how to serve in the world. It is insufficient to have church activities without kingdom authority exhibited in community. Every day, to the extent that what we have been asked to do, we don't focus on it, devil. After casting all the demons in check, where would they go? Because you will not kill them, they will go into the world. So if we don't go into the world, the demons will have full day in the world. See, we must, this power that we seek and always talk about, let us know that it is in us. And then when we are walking in the marketplace, let us be conscious that we are a people of power. And let's allow the power to work. And let's teach principalities and powers that Jesus came to die to save a group of people and we are those kind of people. We sent this young man to go and scout Indonesia. Now when he arrived at the airport, he was confused because Indonesia is predominantly Islam. Now while sitting at the airport trying to figure out what to do because we just, when we send you, we don't teach you what to do. We say go. And he was just praying, wondering where to start from. No member, no contact, no anybody. Just go and 
establish a church for us. Then this woman, who is a foreigner, comes to him. You are here to start a church. I will give you a contact of a certain young man. He's a good guy. He will help you. Now listen. Where the suffering is, is not in the church. It's in the marketplace. People need some Christians who are unleash. Walking among them with great power. One word will take their burdens off their shoulders and they will ask, who are you? They will accept the living God. Let us go out there and signs and wonders will follow the church. About three weeks ago, I was in our church in Indonesia. This very person, the woman said, will help you. Is now our assistant pastor and he drove us the whole day as if he is not married, as if he doesn't have a home. His commitment is superb. You see, all because this woman, a Christian, was moved by the Spirit of God. He was a member of a certain church. And when he met this our pastor, he went to his pastor and said, I want to join these people. And then the pastor said, go and join them. Maybe that is where your destiny is. Listen, so many of us are sitting on tremendous power. Every Friday all night, what are you doing with the all night power? You see, the church should begin working towards the ultimate. The church has a goal. And we must pay attention to the finishing line. Pay attention to the finishing. And let us walk towards the ultimate. Now, what is the ultimate? Revelation 11, verse 15. Revelation 11, verse 15. The seventh angel sounded his trumpet. And there were loud voices in heaven. Which said, the kingdom of the world has become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Messiah, and he will reign forever and ever. Amen. This now, is the ultimate. We and Nitnia, you need to see a bit to me, Drew. Now, a buffoa, a tosso and son, a saint to Tobento. Now, a near Cassia, JJJ was so sad. We are saying in here, I am a young and in the Christo, no dear. So what is the ultimate way that, that the kingdom of the world will become the kingdom of our Lord? And this should be the practice of the church. Now we shouldn't sit down for kingdoms like LGBT kingdom to come and take control of the culture and the church sits there. Without response. And the intention of Jesus in, in, in establishing the church was to have a people capable of bringing change to any and every community. Now, in order for this to happen, 
He gave the church authority. Therefore, go. Therefore, go. So he gave us authority. Now, he demonstrated this in his training of the disciples. Even before his resurrection, he demonstrated it a bit when he was raising the disciples. Matthew chapter 10 verse 1. Matthew 10, 1. Jesus called his twelve disciples to him and gave them what? Authority. To drive out impure spirits and to heal every disease and sicknesses. Now, friends, you have to me no buy. Now, on my one home, Fisu to me say, one to one, not one sign, Yarwa, and now home bring you now. Verse 7. Verse 7. As you go, proclaim this message. Now, so the church must not be sitting in, in our comfort zones. It must be a movement. As you go, as you go, Come on, proclaim this message. The kingdom of heaven has come near. As you go, proclaim this message. The kingdom of heaven has come near. Now, heal the sick. Raise the dead. Cleanse those who have leprosy. Drive out demons. Freely you have received. Freely give. Monsa ayare for ya die. Munyani e ufuo. Muma kwata fo mufi. Muntu and won money. Munya no kwa. Momfa ma kwa. Now Jesus sends out ordinary people. Yesu. Or smas and nipe ya woye nipe. Ordinary folks. Nipa ubianche de mwo. To release the kingdom of God in their community. Now on nam won sumo nyamia hinye no e ureura baby a wobia. Now the word sent Jesus sending them. In, in scripture is apostolos. Now it was not originally a biblical term. Now it is a cultural term. Now Jesus borrowed this language of culture to capture the imagination of his followers. Now the Romans will send apostles to establish the culture of the empire in various corners of the earth. Now, these saint apostles carry an expectation of introducing their culture of their kingdom into other kingdoms and infecting it. How many of us speak English? Let me see. You know the one and a camera for. Oh, when I say me counts me mum in such, who come on such an amenity? So for somewhere na oye lawyer. Hey papa, somewhere oye mere nimi is a lawyer. Hey, then na ye ye camera for. Why are we? It sounds a English brody smart smart for. Uh, the reason why we speak English is that the British government sent their envoys and they came to teach us English. And then I will show coach. And then I will show coach. And now, anyway, so over here, Sinche. Over here, Sinche, and I will show you. Yeah. Look at our shoes. Even up to today, the average Ghanaian does not want to dress like the American. On person be she shoe kakra na kambu. On person she we isan se sani adi atiti ya. These English people brought their culture to us, and we must take the culture of the church into every sphere of society and change it. 
But you are Mamma Brian, I said, Yes, such a young Suyan Botan said, Yet, dear, he knew any more Mamma no, ever call we are say, I got such a we are brothers and sisters. I don't know. Don't wait till you are giving the title apostle in your church because you are a saint person, Mentor. you are an apostle. Maintenancing chains will be to me, I'm our body, sir, or small for no, who was small and to court now, such a we are Pay attention to this line. Jesus knew that when the church shows up and shares society, community, nations will shift. Yes, no one said, Sir Sorano, a rap, yes, say, now, upon modern tenure or one art, or in such a baby, baby, you build a piara. How do I know that? I didn't mean who Why is he saying go? I say, Monk, because when the light shines in the darkness, that darkness will not be able to withstand. So why are we battling with corruption? Because the light is not entering the darkness. I didn't see any nicket as I said, This is kingdom authority to transform the world. But I want to say, brothers and sisters, that kingdom authority is for every believer. But in the kingdom, there are two kinds or types of authority. First one is spiritual authority. The second one is structural authority. Are we together? Shall we stand up a bit for a moment? And let us pray that God. Open our eyes. Help us to know who we are as a church. Let us be able to march into the darkness. And bring great change in the horizon. Shall we pray together? Oh, let us the church is marching on. The church is marching on. The gates open. 